Think thoughts of goodwill. Goodwill for yourself, goodwill for others. That underlies the whole practice. The Buddha taught everything from the Four Noble Truths all the way through all his other teachings for the sake of happiness. It's because of his goodwill for himself and for other beings. And as we practice, we have to make sure that we can keep that attitude going, because it is not definitely innate that we would have goodwill for everybody. We tend to have goodwill for some people and not necessarily for others. But that means with those others we can't trust ourselves. So make a habit of spreading thoughts of goodwill, particularly to difficult people. Think about what that would mean for them to understand the causes for true happiness and be willing and able to act on them. There's a lot of people that seems very far from reality, but you want to make sure that that's your motivation. You don't want to get in the way of that attitude. You don't want to do anything that would create an encumbrance for those people. And that way your mind can be light. You can sit here and realize you don't have any ill will for anybody anywhere at all. No jealousy, no rancor, no anything that's negative. And that way you free your mind. It's, this is called an awareness release. At the least, te temporarily at least, you can release the mind from all these negative qualities. And you begin to get a sense that when the mind is without those qualities, how clear and bright and light it feels. And when those qualities come back in, then you realize that well, these really are defilements. A lot of people resist the idea that their minds are defiled. They don't like the idea of saying their minds are dirty. But this is dirt in the sense of obscuring some luminosity inside. And the mind without those attitudes really is a lot brighter. And this way you have goodwill, goodwill for yourself, and you actually are working on that attitude of goodwill, of creating a better situation for the mind inside. So that at the very least, you understand the causes for true happiness and are able to act on them. And in doing that, you become a good example for others. Maybe they might be inspired to do the same. You can't force it, but it's important that you set a good example at all times. And that's how goodness gets spread around in the world. <laughs>